Hey up everyone, and welcome to a totally different video from what you usually expect to see from me. I've decided to give home brewing a go. I'm going to make my first attempt at making lager. Now there's an ulterior motive to this, you'll have to stick around for part two. So what I've done here, I've set everything up. I've got all my equipment sterilised, as you're told to do. I'm using Cooper's European Lager. So what you do, it comes in a tin, and it's like a treacle ingredient on the inside. So what you do with that, you turn your tin upside down, and you leave it in warm water for 20 minutes, half an hour, and just let it go. A little bit more runny, and it's easier to pour. So obviously what you have to do, you have to crack it open with a tin opener. So as you can see, after a little bit of warming up, it pours out. It's very similar to treacle. You have to make sure you get all contents out of the tin. The best thing to use is a spatula. Pour what you can out and then scrape as much as you can out with a spatula. You want to retain as much of this liquid as you can, this in these ingredients. Ultimately, this is what makes your lager or your beer. You can make cider, you can make wine. These brew kits aren't too expensive. I bought this one, either off Amazon or eBay, I can't remember now. Around about £50 and you get everything you need, apart from your ingredients, to get you underway and get you started in home brewing. So once you've scraped out as much as you can, get some boiling water, pour it into the tin. That tin will get warm, remember, it's boiling water. And you want to just swill it from side to side and get as much a treacle ingredient off side of the tin. Like I said, don't waste it. You don't want to waste any of this. Now tin of this ingredient, you can buy this off Amazon or eBay. I think it's around about £17. And your brewer's yeast is included with that as well. Like I said, don't waste anything. There's some treacle ingredients stuck on the lid of the can and around the rim. So I'm just making sure I get the rest of that off as well and get it all into my uh, larger bucket. Now it's time for a good stir. You'll have seen as this ingredient poured, it really thick still, even though it's been warmed through. So what you're doing now, you're just swishing it about in hot water.
I chose Cooper's European Lager because I thought it would be similar to lagers that we find in UK. And it seemed like a common choice on YouTube when I'm watching how to do this process. And what you want for a 23 litre bucket is about one kilogram or a couple of pounds worth of normal household sugar will do. You can buy brewing sugar, which I would imagine will improve the taste and uh, the process. But most people have sports, so I've just used standard sugar. What you want to do then, you need to be filling your big bucket up to 5 litres with boiling water. And each time I put kettle back on to reboil, I just keep bucket stir around and kept loosening that liquid up. So a bucket's filled to 5 litres, again, making sure it's all mixed, all gets nice and loose. Mixing it through good with water. You get a paddle stick with this uh, kit, it's ideal, it's a long spoon basically. Then you want to get your sugar. And just pour it in slowly, mixing as you go along. And make sure that sugar gets evenly distributed through all liquid and ingredients that you've already put in the bucket. Once all your sugar's in, get a good stir around, get that sugar to dissolve into all fluid that's already in your bucket. And then what you want to do, you want to top your bucket up. Fill your bucket up to 20 litre mark, we're just cold water out of the tap. Once you get up to 20 litre mark, as usual, get a good stir, get it all mixed through really well.
as you can see we're up to 20 litre mark and then it's time for your brewing yeast comes in a simple sachet packet included with your uh, lager ingredients that will be located in your tin in lid of your tin and just sprinkle it around top once you've sprinkled it in give it a good stir around What I haven't showed here, I realised I'd only filled my bucket to 20 litres. So I added another 3 litres. Then I resealed my bucket. And I'll leave that to sit. Once it's sit at about 22 degrees. And leave it for a couple of weeks. Keep checking it. It should be ready for bottling in probably 2-3 to three weeks time. 